bachelorette party. And I am completely out of stamina. Jesus Christ. Alrighty, well, I'm just gonna look around and see if I can find a sign. All ten dollars. Jack, I'll play a hand. It's your wager. That's two to one. Bet. I'll bet five. Put five on the table. Which is five. Good luck. Seven. Okay, my card is a five. That's nine. We got a four. Okay. Thirteen. No! Would you like to play again? Yeah. I know. But that's the only one I know how to play! Okay, one dollar. Why not? Make the stakes real nice and low. Seven. Eight. Oh my god. Fifteen. Say. Seven. House is fourteen. House was hit. No! That's it. That is it. House one. Dang it. No. I will continue to be stupid. I continue to bet one because I have no money. <laughs> I've got a jack. Okay, so that's ten. Six. Nine. I have fifteen. Okay. No! I was twenty six. Play. I can for sure do it. Eighteen. $20. 
21! No! He had a blood deck! He has an 8. again. Do I really get I did hit. I didn't mean to. 19. Stay. House is 8. We have 19. That's a 12. Jack. They busted! $1. Yay! Like the $2. One dollar, Bob. A king. So he already has ten. I also have ten. Seventeen. Do it. I didn't do it. Four. Blackjack. So, how's this ten? Ten. We have twenty. Okay, no, we are not. We're staying. <laughs> we are holding our ground. House wins. You both had ten. The sandwich stock exchange. No. A few places to do some shopping. But we prefer Taylor. I'll do whatever you need. And if there's an order, just let me know and I'll do it. Uh -huh. Five thousand dollars. the other games. Continue with our $1 bet. Because I still am not good. 
Mars has seven. Six. Mars has eleven. We're gonna keep living on the edge, baby! I'm just gonna spend this entire time gambling. I hope you guys can do that. Six. That's twelve. Fifth. Three sixes in a row? You did not show people. That's a sixteen. Got a king! They busted! Wish my lucky kick streak going? Yes, I should! Two dollars! Two dollars, Bob! Nine. Eighteen. I'm not going any further. That is perfect. <laughs> you got a four. House was hit. House was 14. House busted. I still have $10, so we're gonna keep on living large. I'm telling you guys right now, this entire episode is just gonna be me. Fifteen. Nah, why not? Four. Nineteen. Sticking with it. By the way, I should probably mention that uh, the point of this game is to get twenty-one. Uh, if you get above twenty-one, uh, you lose. Um, and the person who's closer to Ooh, I win. Uh, the person who gets the closest to 21 is the one that wins. Typically, if you don't get it, then the house wins. But, uh... Typically, it's where it gets closest. Oh, he got 10 immediately. So I have 10. I have 20. there. 
So is he. He got 21. So if ace is the first card that you get, it counts as a left. Any other card after that, it counts as one. Back down to one. So he has ten. We have ten. We have twenty. We have sixteen. House must hit. They got twenty-six. They busted. We win. We have 11. We have 21! Nice! That is a rarity. Yeah, I knew it. But if I would have drawn a card, I would have busted. You know, let's just go all in. Eight. And then when I lose, oh, that's too much. Ten. Nineteen. This is gonna stay. Here we go. I'm gonna lose everything. Wait, 
Yep. Zero dollars on me. I have no money. I lost it all. enough gambling. I don't have any money. Like, literally, I have none. many security cameras did you say I'm
happening? State games. Unfortunately, it would seem oh, it would seem luck was not on her side. It was a rather hefty debt that needs to be paid. That's why I'm here. A gambling debt? What are we talking about? Come on, Sam. Uh, let you go. $10,000. Oh my god. You lost $10,000 playing cards? Yeah, I already know. Money I need to cover my debts here. Her journals about as close as I'm gonna get to that. As close as I'm gonna get to that given circumstances. You let me hand it in, it's my work, and we get to go home without any problems. What? You wanna steal my work to pay off your gambling debts? It's insane, what happens to me? I'm almost my one chance of salvaging everything in my career. If I don't hand in to Larry, I'll be don't have their money, I'll be finished for real. Why don't you see if they're not fucking around? My life is on the line. He's the shit away from I'm afraid she's right it's about her life or death in front of me. It's not that I'm particularly fond of violence, but unfortunately, sometimes circumstances makes it necessary. So it is, huh? You guys just murder people who can't pay their debts? Without consequences. us to an unfortunate, un unfortunable crossroads, and it appears that the choice for what happens next is yours. So that's the deal, huh? My career, or let's end up. There's a little sacrifice between friends, hmm? I'm sure if the roles were reversed, she'd do the same for you. You two can have your little moment after I get my money. Yes, of course. I'll just... I've just got to go get this to my publisher, that's all. Which is more than a minute, I promise. You must take me for some kind of idiot. I let you walk out of here. Just to say you'll even come back. Took off, would you? If you understand, we can't just trust you. Oh Sam, this is what 
go downstairs to see if I could find you. If I was leaving pretty soon. You haven't you have left it, thank god. Of course I'm still here. You don't you didn't think I'd leave without saying good luck? Tomorrow's gonna be the start of one hell of an adventure, I tell you. The wedding! Marriage! Just a few moments. There are few moments quite like it in life. I'm not happy for you now. It's a big step. Hope you enjoy every moment you have with me. He's a wonderful moment, what a guy. If I were you, I'd do everything in my power to protect that bond you have. It's not like you're gonna have another chance like this in your life, I guarantee you that. I don't mean to mince words, but the girl's a bit of a bitch, don't you think? I mean, I know she's your friend and all, but she's seriously got some issues. I guess some people just have a really hard time with little things. What do you mean by that exactly? Look, I get that you wanted her at the wedding, but why the hell would she want to be there? I mean, you stole her man just after she got dumped. Who in their right mind would want to subject themselves to that sort of emotional trauma? It's like she's harboring some delusion that Rogue still wants her. It's sad, really. Well, let me put it that way. I don't know. Maybe I'm just still for her. But it's not stuck my neck out for her. I never got anything bad. She only cared about what I needed when. There was money to be gained. Sorry, I didn't mean to speak so ill. I get it, you two are always close to what you have and what happened. It's just that, of the two of you, I know now you were the one I should have taken from the start. You were a hell of a partner. Glad to be in business with you. I don't know if. I don't know if to say what you think. I don't know if it's but you sense though, for whatever's going on. What do you want to talk to me about? Oh, right. The first draft. It's finished. I got it right here. It's incredible. The stage keeps getting better. It's a little rough. Still, but... It is a bit of a... I hope I might be able to get that event like right away. Oh, that's funny. I just want to see this journal one. It's still on the floor. I don't mind that though. It's fantastic news. To read it, I'm going to tell you. I guess back at the office, I'm going to be ecstatic when you hear the news. Well, I was kind of hoping you'd be able to get a call for me now. The first draft advance. It would really come in handy right, right about now. I don't mean to rush, but it's kind of important. Eh, wedding expenses, I completely understand. Let me just pop into my room and give a call to the office. I'll see about getting the chest for your house right away. It'd be fantastic. Alright, so like everything is taken care of. The Valdella should be hitting your account within the next few minutes. <laughs> Don't go spinning it all at once. <laughs> yeah, right. Hey. You wouldn't want to get out of here now, would you? I got gold status at the airport. And I can get you bumped up to first class on my flight. We have to go right now, though. My plane's leaving shortly. I'm going to go with you right now. What about games? Forget about games. What good has she ever done to you? Honestly, if I were you, I'd pray her flight gets canceled and she misses the wedding altogether. Maybe I'm wrong, but my gut tells me having her there is going to be nothing but trouble for you. Might as well just forget about her now. Offering a fear seat on the way home, right? If it were me, I'd say. Sorry, I can't. I've got something I need to hear before I leave. Oh well, suit yourself. Just don't be late getting back. We don't want you missing the wedding now. Right. All right. I'll see you on the other side, I guess. Take care. I 
I was really tempted to just leave. I hope everybody knows. I was very tempted to just go. address or anything. 30 days. James. Good to see you make it back from the casino in one piece. You want to help the party. You're telling me. Since we're here, it's the end of the month and all. Any chance you'll be able to make good on that promise you gave me? first draft when we were sold to the casino. Sorry, I figured I might as well submit both of your works at the same time if I can. It really helps show the guys upstairs that I never farted away all their money with them. And it's on to present to you Sam and Erg.
I just realized I put a heart in the sand for the... Ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to have you gathered here today for this monumentous occasion. Few times in life do we get to witness true miracles, and I believe we are here to witness one today. True love, above all else, is the most improbable occurrence in this world. Two souls are born apart. They grow independently, they experience uniquely, and eventually they come to find each other and know each other's know each other. This is the miracle we celebrate today. Salmon Oregon. We are gathered together on this beautiful beach to share in this beautiful moment with you as you exchange vows of everlasting love. Are you both ready to make that commitment to one another today? Yes, I am. Yeah, me too. Now I do believe you've written vows for each other. Yes, I'd like to go first. Bro, I knew I was in love with you from the moment I first saw you. You picked me up when my life was at its darkest. You made me whole again. Without you, I don't know what would become of me. I th thought of being without you. I can't stand. I know I'm not perfect, but with you I feel complete. Look, I love you with all my heart. Uh, with all that my heart has to offer. Oh, I promise I won't cry. Sam, my life with you has been everything I ever wanted. In your arms, I am happier than I have ever been. I look forward to whatever our future together may bring. You are a wonderful partner, and I love you. Sam, you are the best part of my life. Oh, you got me going now, too. Now that vows have been said, you will exchange rings with one another. And before we get to that, if any... If there's anyone who objects to this union, please speak now or forever hold your peace. If anyone speaks up, I don't know if this is the only for America, but if anybody speaks up, the two cannot get married. Do you have your rings prepared? Yeah. Yeah. Please then, Sam. Place the ring on Rogue's finger and repeat after me. I take you, Rogue, to be my wedded husband. I take you, Rogue, to be my wedded husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold for this day forward. For better, for worse, for richer or for poorer. For better, for worse, for richer or for poorer. In sickness or in health, to love and cherish. In sickness and in health, to love or cherish. Until death do us part, I pledged you forever. I, oh my god, can I learn how to read? Until death do us part, I pledged you my faithfulness. Until death do us part, I pledged you my faithfulness. Now you, Rogue. Let's place the ring on Sam's finger and repeat after me. And with this ring, I take you, Sam, to be my wedded husband. And with this ring, I take you, Sam, to be my wedded husband. To love and cherish you forevermore love and cherish you forevermore. To follow you through all life's experiences. To follow you through all life's experiences. Whatever good or bad may come. Whatever good or bad may come. Until death do us part, I pledge you my faithfulness. Until death do us part, I pledge you my faithfulness. By the power vested in me, I hereby declare you husband and wife. Alley. Cute. So that's it? The story's done? Is this the part where I decide whether or not I'm gonna shoot you? I've heard some long pointless stories in my life. This one takes the cake. Hell, I still don't even know who you are. <laughs> of course you wouldn't. 
We live in a world where none of the players in the story could end up here. This little stage we live in, no character can escape tragedy. The up and down of life ebbs and flows forever in a circle. For every high you achieve, you will pay an equal low. At one time, I had everything I ever wanted. But all things shall pass. What the hell is the fruitcake talking about? You know, I don't care who this joker is anymore. Pull the trigger and let's get the fuck out of here. If you'll allow me a moment, I'll explain everything. Do it now! Well, back is turned. Cold blood. Don't know who it is. Wait. No, not like this. I have to know who I'm killing first. They're games, aren't you? What the fuck is that loser doing here? You both made it out of your casino alive. But one of us was already dead. Maybe we should have killed one of us right then and there. Perhaps things would have turned out differently. We both needed his love, but in the end, he didn't choose me. Perhaps because I'm wanting him so bad, I've become something less than human. He's happy now, happy without me. Without that love in my life, what, happen what happiness is there for me? There is no other for me. There never would or could be. I came out here to live in the gutter with the rest of my... of the fiends. I came out here to die. You have the means? Oh, you have the means? Why didn't you just kill yourself? I am so tired of choice. I didn't have the will left to make a decision either way. Judge, the choice is now yours. Jesus Christ, you lost your fucking mind. Who gives a shit? Put your fucking head off. Do I deserve the death I want for? Or will we, or are we always sometimes monsters? And roll credits on that! What does that even mean? Whatever you believe it does. This is the answer. You might feel like you deserve to die, but I'm not the one who does it. What the hell do you think you're doing exactly? I told you to shoot this lunatic. I'm sorry, but after all that, I just can't do it. I can't do any of it anymore. I quit. You quit killing, then. Oh, you quit killing when I tell you to quit killing. Now shoot this fool before you regret it. The minutes you control do your bidding for you. You live in fantasy. Tell me, when is the last time you really did anything at all? That's what I thought. Bye, friend. I'll see you in another life. Yeah. 
Kelvin. There you go. Thanks a lot. I don't usually finish many books, so I really want to get inside. Don't usually finish books, huh? I think you like this one then? Oh, absolutely. I've never read anything that captures the human spirit quite so well. You're truly a master of the craft. Doing what you're doing, it's great. Well, thanks for stopping by. Well, gentlemen, can I pull something? You yeah, actually might be able to. My name is Justin. Justin? I'm Makara, and this is my business partner, Jake. A weirdo. Nice to meet you. We're in a small video game studio called Vagabond Dog. your book and had a really great idea for a game based on it. It it be straightforward retelling of your adventures with all the ups and downs. Yeah, always sometimes monsters is a really big influence on us and we'd like to work with it. You cheeky <laughs> Boo I think I could have joined anybody else. Oh, I can't believe it. I know, neither can I. I never thought this day would come. I never thought it possible. Sam, we're married. What do we do now? I... I don't know. This is what I was saying. We should book a honeymoon for right after. Who cares if it would be... If it would have been a little more expensive. Look, why don't we just relax on the movie or something? It's gotta be something good on Getflix, right? Do whatever you want, I'm gonna go take a nap. Walking around all day in that monkey suit was exhausting. I love you, wife. <laughs> I love you too, babe. This is a wedding gift? We'll take a look at it. Or one of mine, I'm sure. That's from the guys at the Vagabond Dog. I'm real glad we invited them. The happy couple. You've come to the end of a long journey together. What lays ahead of you, none of us know for sure. Only time and patience will build the next path. Well, it's awfully sweet of those guys. Huh? So they gave Rogue a game cartridge or something? enjoy this Vagabond Net video game cartridge. It will automatically download and update new games and software to your VBOX home game system. Note that the $59.99 annual, annual service fee for online connectivity has also been waived. At the gaming YouTube crazy lovers. Neat, free video games. Might as well go hook this thing up.
Hey there, it's your homies at Vagabond Dog. I wanted to thank you again for working with us on Always Sometimes Monsters. The video game has been such a hit, we thought we'd do a sequel. New story, new graphics, new choices, new everything. Though you might want a preview, we sent some screenshots. Check them out when you have the time. Or just go buy a copy. Should be in the stories by now. I am not going. Give it real. whenever we can, baby. Whatever comes our way. I'm gonna write another book. People don't always sometimes monsters. the end of the game. Huh. It really just abruptly ends, doesn't it? Um, I don't really have anything to say. Which is weird, there's not very many games that just leave me speechless. But there really is just nothing. Like it already, the game already did it for me. 